a young girl finds herself in a faraway land uh, and kills the first person she meets. Meeting other friends, she kills again or some such thing. All right. Like, yeah, really, that's what it's about is someone going to another country, immediately murdering someone, meeting up with a bunch of people in the woods and then killing someone else. Wow. Anyhow. You are totally the biggest mark. The Hulk Hogan, you can go to hell. And all these people are a bunch of stinking bums, aren't you? The reigning United States heavyweight champion, Brett Hitman Clark. Um, yeah, I don't know. Tonight on the podcast, we're going to watch some Nitro, and you should too, because that makes this a lot better. Um, some people watched it on TV. Some people showed up live. Some of them paid money. Some of them didn't. More specifically, and, uh, since I have it right in front of me. It oh, is, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it is uh, from September 23rd, 1996, Birmingham, Alabama, where 4,308 people attended. Um, rating 3.4. I have no clue what Rawls was because I do not have that pulled up. What? Uh, how much is that metric? How much is 3.4 metric? Yeah, like that rating. I have no what clue. What is that using the metric system? I have no clue. How many people is that using the metric system? I don't know. I think I it's different. I don't even know what the ratings like are like really mean. Three point four million a percentage. I think they're a percentage. Okay. Okay, percent of what? Everyone in the world? People watching TV in the How market. They, okay. All right, well, it's 3.4 whatever t- that is. Because when they talk about something doing a 25, they always say that's a quarter of all the people. Okay. Percentage but I don't people. know how much 25% is metric. So this means 3.4% of everyone watching TV on right. that night was watching At Nitro. At that time was watching this, yeah. That's the share they had. Right, right. Hmm. Okay. But it's, right. Different, but it's different metric. All right, well, let's go ahead and get the show going. Let's... I'm just being a fucktard. <laughs> let's just... Let's go ahead and get the show going, and we can continue speaking right. over it like we do. But yeah. uh, whenever you're ready, get it pulled up on the network, get past the ads, all that stuff, and press play in three, two, one, play. And here we go. Yeah. So we are live from my basement. I'm always live. <laughs> every, 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 everywhere I am, I'm always live. Yeah, I don't remember ever not being live. <laughs> I have no clue where we are at storyline. Until Clay gets here, we were pretty much lost as far as storyline, as far as me, as far as I've I'm concerned. Watching, so I've been watching WWF stuff because I didn't, I didn't watch all the time during Nitro. You know, it was just when you flipped over. Mm-hmm. Um, but I stopped watching wrestling for a while. I stopped watching wrestling from uh, the buyout until 06 but in 06 i started watching tna that's exactly the same as me i didn't watch it for like five years at all period so i i went back to 01 and i've been watching every every pay-per-view yeah so Um, i've I've said it before there's some go ahead go ahead i'll say i said it before but wcw getting bought out when it got about bought out was probably the best thing that could have happened to us because i don't know about you but i was still obsessed till the last show no i was obsessed and then we immediately got our driver's license. And then we got our driver's license. Do like, then, right then. Do I need a coach? No, we would, I would put we it on the would floor or something. Not this is got Poontang to this day. <laughs> I would still be. Nitro I'd probably still be air, living in mom still. and dad's watching wrestling Absolutely. three times a week. Um, I will say there's a lot of garbage in wrestling where I picked up. Um, but the high point, and, and one of my favorites, my on my Mount Rushmore of wrestling, uh, I've really enjoyed watching all the Kurt Angle stuff I missed. Yeah, yeah, like he's, the early 2000s stuff. He's a fucking high point, for sure. Uh-huh. So Clay's here. So what I miss? Now that we just started. Incompetence. Sweet. Like, they just showed them two talking. Did you say what city it's in and how yes, many people we went that. there and the Nielsen rating? We did. Good job, We fellas. talked about the relevance of ratings and all that, even. And I was what they actually mean. Out, yeah, I was trying to figure out how much 25% is in metric. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not even going to try to figure that it's, out. Yeah, because it's all different. 
So I'm just looking at the card for this uh, for this show, and uh, yeah. wow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. What's Zabisco's shirt? It looks like there's holes in it. You can see his chest and chest hair. I thought they looked not. like little explosions. Yeah, it's just or like fried chicken. It's just splotches. It's fried, it is fried chicken. <laughs> they might be. <laughs> Ooh, so uh, I've never uh, did it. Has anyone ever seen one of those shirts? The NWO logo front and back. Ooh, no. It might have been homemade. Hey, Zach, it's your dad. Hey, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> there's Will McCann. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Damn. I wonder if this guy's a planter if he's actually that into it. I don't know. He's he's middle-aged, baby face. Well, he's fan. basically pulling up the four horses symbol and crumbling up the NWO papers. So. Yeah, because that guy's 47, and the horsemen were huge yeah. when... Uh, right. And he maintains kayfabe. This is from Birmingham, Alabama, so it is kind of horseman country, I guess. I don't know. Damn, they had a dark match on a nitro? Yeah. I'll be darned. So for those who... Well, no one's going to see it because it probably doesn't exist anywhere. It was Mysterio Jr., uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. As opposed to Bruce Mysterio Jr. (laughs) As opposed to Jimmy Mysterio. (laughs) And we get Sullivan and K-Dog. Well, not K-Dog yet, is it? it No, he's still Conan. He's not cutting rap albums yet, so he's not. He is uh, K-Dog, but he's not referring to himself as K-Dog yet. He's still the AAA Mexican heavyweight champion, though. Is he? Yeah, Jimmy Hart had the big damn belt oh the big damn belt which is odd because when he defends the belt he never fucking has it you're right <laughs> but now that we're in this throwaway tag match get the title belt jesus Hoobie. <laughs> Gee whiz, Hoobie, calm down this is an odd pairing so we have uh this brad armstrong and hooven two guerrero i'm going to choose to call them the uh the pan-american connection <laughs> these are the guys that showed up I don't the, know why the, the Armstrong should have been in some sort of tag team called Stretch Armstrong. Huh. Yeah. I don't know why. I don't just. I'm not sure what their uh, gimmick would have been, but. I'm, I'm going to call them Steak and Tamales. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Everything might explode soon. Zach's so. going to take a little break and clean up the ice water that he just spilled all over the surge protector that is underneath us. So if I go up in flames while I'm talking, that's why. That's what a surge protector's for. Well, Zach's just gonna hang out and do a little bit of, little bit of work down here. If there's here. one thing you're gonna spill water on, that's what you want it to be. Yeah, not, not, not the entire electrical output of this whole studio. Nice head scissor takedown from Hoovy. You have literally the most lucha guy in the promotion tagging with a guy with a American flag ring jacket. Yeah. Uh oh, Bubba just took his duster off. Look out. He means business. Clay, we did discuss my new plan for this podcast is to win the lottery and squander all of it <laughs> on building a studio and flying you guys in every week to record. I like all it. All for a podcast nobody listens to. That'd be I'm I'm down with it. How great would that be? I am totally down with it. I have a feeling that uh, Conan's gonna be doing the most of the wrestling for his team. You know yeah. what I mean? I don't think Kevin Sullivan's really gonna. Uh, ooh, this is that package DDT does. That's actually pretty cool. I like that. Although, I yeah, I don't know, dude. Kevin Sullivan should have been like a fake luch. They should have put a mask on him. How great would that have he been? Could have been like El Gordo. Yeah, something or other. Muscle Buster. Frickin' Muscle Buster. Damn, Samoa Joe there. would start using that about ten years from now. Oh, how I end up two seconds ahead of you guys every goddamn week. What now? Nothing. Brad Armstrong is in like a house of fire. Most underrated worker ever. Yeah. Did you see uh did you see how he threw that clothesline? Yeah, it was like good. And he threw it left handed. Damn, nice uh, Japanese arm drag. Drop kick to the knee. Selling it well. Yeah, I. Uh, this was something I hadn't thought of. I was listening to Josh Barnett talk about working and and just talking about setting up a match and telling guys, ah, don't don't worry, I'm gonna work. I'm gonna work your left side. It's gonna feel weird, but when it's your turn, I'll make sure I get to the right. Because guys don't work their weak side. Okay, that match and was that pretty. Was it. That match was pretty good with the lamest ass finish. Oh. 
Well, Conan might be out of the Dungeon of Doom awfully quick. Well, you know, they have such talent that they can afford to get rid of some guys. Yeah, he's like their best guy, and that's saying something. Yeah. Like, that match was good, and then like, oh my God. Kevin Sullivan <laughs> tags in, <laughs> does a bunny hop onto Brad Armstrong, and that's the damn finish. Quick match. Uh, Went yeah, two Conan minutes, 37 and- seconds. Conan and Trailer are the best two guys. Yeah, I, I'm good with that. You know who should have been in the Dungeon of Doom? Who's that? Shark Boy. Yeah. TNA Shark Boy? Yes, T. Oh, maybe they just jumped him in like a gang. So he's not oh, out okay. of the, They just jumped him in. That's all it was. Well, because they did that with everyone, remember? They initiated uh, him. Somebody spit all over the camera. Yeah. Yeah, no, they always do that. Don't you remember when they beat the fuck out of the Yeti? They froze him in that ice block. That was his initiation. We have a NWO picket line going through the crowd. Get some fucking scabs in here. So, uh, yeah, Zach, how about not putting liquids down by the... uh, Put that down like an hour ago. I forgot all about it. You go to a Foo Fighters concert? Weren't they, like, in St. Louis recently? I wish. No, 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 they fucking weren't. They sure, were in fucking sure Memphis. They were in fucking uh, somewhere else, and then they're going to be in fucking Champaign. That's they come what to St. Louis. Fuck no. Hey, it's a little person. Yeah, it is. Huh. Not really sure where I was going with that. But <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> yeah, I was a little person. Oh, yeah, I forgot uh, we got one, two, three kid now. What are you saying is that midgets like wrestling too? Of course. So this, um, remember, the reason why this um, card seems odd is that most of the big names are on a, like a Japanese or, or It's a the uh, 96 tour. G1. Okay. It's, like, it's one of those G1 special deals. Is that yeah. the G1 that I found that really awesome shirt of with like... I think so. Um, it may with, be. With like Hello Kitty Arn Anderson yeah. on it? Yeah. It very yeah. well could be, yeah. Yeah. So mo- most of the else, big names are in Japan. Why else would you unveil a huge angle when everyone's gone? Right. <laughs> so that's why looking at the card here on Cage Match, it's like, man, this is a hodgepodge. Man, Mike Tanay has not aged, like, very much. Since I think he then. ages in reverse. He lo- he's Benjamin he's Button. Benjamin Button, yeah. I think it's like, oh. Can we turn uh, Macho up here a little bit? Can't hear him very well. Do you think he just exploded that shirt himself? <laughs> he just yeah. put it on, it was fine, he just yeah, flexed. because he's that damn swole. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Hot pink and lime green. It's an interesting <laughs> color combo. Hey, so acknowledging what we just talked about. Yeah, well, that, that was the whole angle, because the, the NWO is going to come and wreck shop, mm-hmm. because there's nobody to defend WCW. Yeah. What date is this? Is on September twenty third, nineteen ninety six. Man, might be a little too. So, um, Savage is getting a little deep on us here. He's talking about the afterlife and <laughs> future lives and coming back, being reincarnated as a goldfish. I'm serious. And today's yeah. just yeah. today's I'm shaking his head like I understand uh-huh. perfectly. Uh-huh. Yes, Randy. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> I will say this: Tanae, from this to now, Tanae's gotten a lot better on the mic because <laughs> he's he's kind of deer in the headlights yeah. look here. You can tell him that whole no, that. he's got no experience though. That's not his background yeah. at all. No, he's he's very green. Hey, it's um, um Ennis. It's um uh, one half of uh, Rough and Ready. Rough and ready. God Mike damn. Enos. Oh, hey, I just thought of a much better way to do something here. When we're done with the podcast, I'm going to test it out. Okay. okay. What's that? That's really a non-statement that has no impact on anything. So just, disregard. Just, just okay. thinking out loud. <laughs> yep. This music. Oh, I like it. I like Chris Jericho's non-themes. <laughs> 
his white meat bait. That is a sparkly jacket. Yeah, it is. I'm very interested to see how the match is going to go at Wrestle Kingdom. That that yeah could be. Uh... Zach, were you listening to MacArthur Park? <laughs> before? Grant, Grant can explain that. To you. Okay. Grant, uh, why is Zach listening to MacArthur Park? My fiance had never heard it until I started singing it in the car today. That's the story, really. Yeah, isn't that awesome? So that is his real music. Yeah, for like a short yeah. time. Oh, okay. Yeah, they haven't. St- eventually, on the network, they'll they'll start you because they don't want to pay the money for the even flow rip off. Uh-huh. So they just use the break the walls down music. Gotcha. There Man. is. Oh, you know what? Like, I'm gonna have a hard time watching when it happens. I watched this the is the one Nitro I like with um, um, Ernest the Cat Miller. His knockoff, knockoff music is hard to listen to. Like, it's bad? It's, yeah, because you just, you, the original James Brown ripoff was so good. Okay. I am a big fan of Chris Jericho's even flow ripoff music, because that is when he became Monday Night Jericho and yeah. started being awesome. Speaking of uh, ripoff music, ECW is nothing but ripoff music. Pretty much, yeah. Like or their theme song really, was yeah. Rob was White Zombie. <laughs> well, and then yeah. Sandman just used Inner Sandman, and they never paid Metallica a dime for it. Yeah, <laughs> you know because they're an outlaw promotion. Mm-hmm. He's doing these weird junkyard dog bad headbutts. Yeah. I, I never liked that move. It's not how you headbutt somebody. <laughs> yeah. It's really weird to see Jericho as, like, pre-crisis Jericho, where he's just plucky, white meat, baby face. Have you guys ever seen his work in Mexico? I know, not much of it. I've caught caught a little bit of it, and it's it's pretty good. Like, that would be like 92, 92, 93. Because he was in Smoky Mountain in 94. Right. Um, And then, yeah, he went to Japan for however long. Because he was working a lot with like Norman Smiley and Negro Cassis and guys like yeah. that in Mexico. Guy can really work any style. That's yes, why he's yes. been around for so long. We'll see how it goes I, in January. Um, I'm hoping. I'm intrigued. Yeah. To I'll see how watching, that goes. Well, I'll be watching like two days later because it happens at two in the morning. Right. <clears throat> Got the picketers in the back there. Yeah. It's a bunch of 14 year old kids. Yep, probably having the time of their lives. Yeah, that'd be pretty awesome. That's why they, that's that's how the NWO got over. They got over with the youth of America because mm-hmm. they were rebels. I'll say this: Jericho's making Mike Enos look like a million bucks. <laughs> I love how Zabisco seems to think there's a point system in American wrestling because <laughs> yeah. he always says such and such is ahead on points. Where are the judges? Why don't yeah. we have a match go to a decision every now and then to keep that, you know, a real thing? I, I love the British style. I haven't watched much of it, but it is interesting how they how they work um, it. I mean, it's presented I, I, like a real sport. Right. I, I would be good if in America you saw more time limit stuff, but I'd be okay with doing judges sometimes if it went the time limit. Yeah, and you can have the judges be in somebody's pocket and screw a right. guy. and I don't yeah. know. Like, the... The time limit draw stuff is so hard to do nowadays because you can't expect people to sit and watch the same match for 30 minutes unless it's two of the greats like having a match of the year candidate and you aren't going to expect them to do that on a throwaway Raw or even a house show. Well, I, in, in NWA and WCW, the time limit for a match like this was always 10 minutes. Yeah, you'd do a... Television title match or most, and you they'd always oh Jesus oh Jesus well he nice. was they were safe so about it. Be careful with that kind of stuff. Yeah, he was safe about it. Enos took care of him there. Breaking the count, good. I like it. Don't want to yep. get a double count out. Oh, this is yeah, this is before uh, Zabisco and Trevani. I always forget their ringside. Yeah, until the second half. Yeah, then the other yeah guys they go in. up. We're in a Bischoff and Heenan there at the booth. I just uh, stop doing that. Mm-hmm. If you're not junkyard dog, don't do that. Yeah. 
Crowd's come dead. Well, I mean... They're watching, though. This is before Jericho was Jericho. Yeah. They're watching the match, though. They're not paying attention to other shit. They're not getting popcorn. The seats are full. And they're getting behind Jericho a little bit here. On a fucking bear hug. Yeah. (laughs) See, this is where bear hug makes sense. Big guy, small guy. Ow, he like really hit him that time. Got connected there. Like Jericho's just bumping his ass off in this throwaway second match on Nitro. Like, who would you take on this match? Not, I mean, we know the result, but if you didn't know the result at this point, like in nineteen ninety six, ninety six, boy, it'd probably be a toss up, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I think you want Jericho to win, but you don't think he will. Yeah, because yeah. he's exactly yeah. He's too small, he's undersized, he's from Canada, and they're in Birmingham. They're not going to put a Canadian <laughs> over. He's not sitting back enough. That's what Zabisco says about every Boston crab ever. He's got to yep. sit down more. It's because Zabisco shoots when he does it's it. It's like, that's what it's like. Well, you see, Larry, he's not actually trying to do the move to him. <laughs> What Did any of you guys finisher? hear, uh, it was Hurricane Helms maybe on, uh, maybe the Steve Austin podcast talking about Johnny Ace. I think I know you're talking about I don't think I, I saw that. He's, no. he, he's like, he comes back and Johnny Ace is like, uh, you know, you. it seems like you really struggled getting him up in that choke slam. And he's like, you know, I don't really do the move, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love Richard's <laughs> impersonation. Like, hey, oh. boss. Oh, roll up. Got him up a choke slam, huh? Huh? Kyle Buck, dude. (laughs) Johnny Ace. (laughs) Or whenever he does songs with Johnny Uh, Ace's voice. That is entertaining. (laughs) Which one did he do recently? He did, did like, like Notorious B. Oh, Jesus. I did, like, the DXs or something like that. That was a uh, legit clothesline. No, he did uh, um, Billy Gunn's theme music. Oh, the ass man. I'm an ass man. (laughs) Huh? I'm an ass man. Billy Gunn. Not tight ones. I'm an ass man. (laughs) Huh? Cowabunga. The dynamic dudes. Was that, who else was in that? Was that Shane Douglas? That was Shane Douglas. I don't know. You say dynamic dudes and I think about bad dudes the game where they, you know. Yeah, the president's been kidnapped by ninjas. ninjas. (laughs) Duh. Are you you bad enough to save him? Are you a bad enough dude to save the president? (laughs) It's like the most, oh shit. Oh shit. Hump that face. All right, top rope power bomb. That might be it. He was oh, safe. He... About it. Wow, he's gonna kick out of this. Yeah, he must. That. I mean, I get why they're doing it, but it's like you don't do a move like that if it's not gonna be the end of the match. You know. At at least he didn't kick out hard. Shoot up. Yeah. No, he's still selling it until right now. What? No. Okay, that's interesting. I think the goal of anybody tonight on this show needs to uh, make number 76 there in the front row pop because he stood there stone faced. That sat was. There stone-faced the whole time. I'm going out on a limb here to say that is probably the best Mike Enos match I've ever seen. <laughs> that was very good. It wasn't bad. Yeah. I mean, Jericho made him look like a million bucks and it kind of made it where, oh, he just. So it might have had nothing to do with Mike Enos. He stole one at the end, you know, hit a quick pin on him. Enos beat his ass for six and a half minutes. Up, oh, Goldberg's coming out. That's what I thought for a second. Yay, nights. Goldberg. Come on, Goldberg. Spear somebody. Spear. Aw. Oh. <laughs> it is so weird. Isn't that Not weird? Seeing Goldberg come out <laughs> that music. Friggin pat and it's a friggin' Pat It's that guy. It's like he just molested something and he's like. Got that look in his eye. I would just like to say we did no way think Pat Tanaka is a uh, I'm accusing Pat Tanaka of anything. Of molesting me. I'm sure he's a fine man. Uh, he does look like he's just done something he terrible. Done something bad. No, no, it's because just this. Grinning. No, it's because this is pro wrestling, and he's from Asia, and Asians are devious. Oh, really? Remember, yeah, I, you know yeah, they're no. devious. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, you know, they're sneaky. They're sneaky right. people. Yeah. So we have Glacier, and I'm already over it. Light show. <laughs> oh, Hell yeah. 
You're walking well, he, backwards. He's coming out backwards, guys. <laughs> he brings the other way. He's, he's really like, he's really doing the coming out backwards thing. I thought he was just joking about that. Doing fake ass karate. See, there's his helmet. Oh, forgot he had a strap on there. Why didn't they at least get a fucking Asian person to do this? Right. Like, remember it like Why three years. Pat Tanaka's gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> what remember, the fuck? Remember three years from now when he gives all this shit to Kaz Hayashi? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> That is a memory I probably never would have thought uh, of. Again. It's awesome. Someone probably bought it from him at a fucking yard sale. How much money did they spend on this fucking entrance? <laughs> I, this he was on, uh, <laughs> Glacier was on um, Penzer's podcast a while back, and I think he said he still has his stuff. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he still has it. At least some of it. Well, heck, he's been at shows recently. Yeah, he was in a freaking Ring of Honor show. Yeah. How excited would that be? You show up at Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor, and the special guest stars fucking Glacier. I <laughs> dig it. I would, but no one else would. Me, you, and one other guy. <laughs> I don't know if I knew anybody that was really super into Glacier. Um, no, no one was. I mean, ever. I don't. I don't know. Man, he, he's just, okay. Is this the Nitro Girls music. It will be <laughs> it's here like, in a, about a this year. Is the- Pre nitro girls. It very well here. might be. Ow, ow, ow. Remember when Che's boob fell out? No. Yeah, that happened. Well, I got YouTube right here. What? <laughs> it probably, probably needs to be Daily Motion or something. Yeah, I mean, literally, like, it was, it was kind of like the Janet Jackson thing where it just happened real fast and, of course, the camera cuts away. But yeah, freaking boob fell out. <laughs> You're gone. Zach's going to get in trouble on his search history. <laughs> um, Let's go to videos. Oh, I remember that poster where they all had their shirts off. Oh, God. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, on the network. It's We'll see it. It's in 1997, I think the... Uh, I doubt it's on the network. No, the network pixelates it. Oh. Yep. All right, here we go. I would, I would dig this match if it were present. Oh yeah, God, it's so weird. They leave the lights blue. Yeah. That's bullshit. This should be like a point, like a shoot point karate fight. Is what how they should do this, and maybe they will. I don't know. Yeah, you telegraphed that a little bit there, Pat. It's pretty obscure. I can't find it. Wow, crowd is literally sitting there not knowing what to think about this. Ole! So the Nitro Girls, if for anyone that cares, debut July 14th, 1997. So we got a little Don't while. Don't tell him. Wow, Pat Tanaka got podcast. some offense in. Oh, he's going to no-sell the power bomb into some kind of split-like maneuver. Oh, he might have actually shoot-kicked him in the face there. He made a little bit of contact there. Oh, I remember this. Remember when Alex Wright was doing that whole thing? Yeah, he's part of the Nitro. Girls? That's actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah. I cannot find it. It's probably been scrubbed from history. It's literally like a half a second. So yeah. you know, there wasn't DVR back then. So yeah, that's that's a shame. Okay, come on. He's already done his entrance. He doesn't get an outro, too. <laughs> he doesn't yeah, no, get he gets to dance. He gets an intro and an outro. Uh, Google search WCW Nitro Nipple. <laughs> what, did you find it? <laughs> That's... Oh, good God. That's apparently what the incident is known as. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What? This I didn't is, fucking make it up. This is our podcast. <laughs> Googling nip slips. <laughs> we should do a nip slip review podcast. I mean, I'm seeing, <laughs> Zach, this is going to give your computer a virus. I'm seeing articles about it. Like it, so it did happen, but you just can't get. Uh... I'm. Uh, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ! He's Are still you, doing. No, he's no, no. still doing kata. Are you too good. Are you too good to jerk off to a news article about someone's nipple? <laughs> what <guess>. the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Saturday man. night. 
I wish they'd show who was wrestling instead of just robots. I wish it was robots wrestling. Oh boy, Public Enemy versus High Voltage. <laughs> Set your DVR, kids. I love how. Okay, what you dive in WCW? Not go back up. Now I keep going. So WCW Nitro Nipple, and it's like hot chicks, hot chicks, Nitro girls, Tigress, blah blah blah, and then there's just a random picture of Craig Pittman, <laughs> <laughs> third row. <laughs> when, it, when it didn't matter what you looked for on a search engine, porn was the result. Yeah. yeah. So who was that guy they just showed, Mike Gafari? Fari? I'm assuming he was an Olympian of some kind because he had uh, the Olympic rings on his shirt, which I guess we just had the Atlanta Olympics, so he must have won a medal or something. Mike Gafari, a Lebanese American professional basketball player. Okay, that's random. Played for a Lebanese basketball team. Is this the same fucking guy? Damn, Zach found a pretty awesome uh, Angel Fire site dedicated to <laughs> dedicated to Nitro Girl Spice. That's pretty bitchin'. That's funny. It's all on. So, uh, Public Enemy, um, we're gonna watch this match, and uh, I'm no, probably gonna not. get no. We're going to Grant. This is the podcast. <laughs> we have to watch it. We can't pretend it didn't happen. God damn it. Damn, that kid uh, looks like Getty Lee. Yeah, he does. <laughs> I always forget that Stacy Keebler was a Nitro girl for a short time. She won that contest. She won the, yeah. yeah. Public Enemy versus Harlem Heat. Zach, you can quit we have looking. Never Come seen on. This you got to rejoin the podcast. He's on a friggin' mission here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, there it is. Found he it. found it. <laughs> like the camera. See, kids, that's, that's, that's proof if you yeah. set your mind to something. You Determination. <laughs> so there you go. You can go about your life now. Grant, did you find it? I can give you the link if you'd like to. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. Text it to me. <laughs> Or just put it out over the podcast. <laughs> It'll immediately get taken down. Yep. Oh, hey, uh, Chuck remind- Mosley died. Uh, I should know who that is. Who's Chuck Mosley? He was the front man of Faith No More. Oh, no shit. That's Seriously? terrible. Wow. They just put out an album a couple years ago. Uh, uh, I what? don't Did think it, it was with him, though. Oh, uh, it was a different guy. What yeah, got him? Different guy. What was the finish on that guy? <laughs> uh, let me look. I like Faith I see, No More. Uh, oh, The Disease of Addiction. Huh. Yeah, so is drugs. I mean, that's not shocking, but... Hopefully still, good drugs. Still not good. So we have black guys and then white guys who are uh, trying to... Try, they're, yeah. They're, they're trying to ingratiate themselves to urban culture. You know, I came up with a lot of ways to say it that weren't that nice, so we'll go with that. Yeah, we're we're trying to be diplomatic here. Why is he what is that dance called? Is that like the washing machine or what is that? Is is that the Do you know? What no, the, the we, dance, the the Rock O Rock dance where they oh, do this. Yeah, I don't know what this is. Uh but between all of us the most we know about dancing is maybe half of how to do the Charleston. There's like the mashed potato and the, <laughs> the Macarena. Grant, just I'm on a, a different computer, so I couldn't just like put it over on Skype. But just go to Jason's Tumblr site <laughs> on what Google. The fuck? T-U-M-B-L-R for Tumblr. I, okay. And uh, just kind of. Or nitro girl on there too. That, or that reminds me of the uh, on half baked. Now that's a titty. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Zach! Can you see how long this match goes? So I know how long I have till it's over. Oh God, please! It doesn't say. It's not say. Crap! It, does it say could be happens. long. We don't have a time. There's not a time on uh, a couple matches on here. Huh? For some reason. I'm guessing the Giant versus Jim Powers probably doesn't have a time because it probably never doesn't s- happen. Probably is over before they started the timer. 
Ooh. Oh no. Man, there's a lot of short matches on this card, which makes me think this is going to drag on. This is they very gotta, much a they gotta, filler. They gotta episode. fill time. Why do they always fill it with a combination of one of three tag teams? Well, I mean, Harlem Heat, well, Booker T at least, is uh, he's going to be doing most of the heavy lifting this match between all four of these friggin' guys. Right. I mean, he's uh, he's gonna be having to work his ass off. I don't know. He's gonna punch him in the head ten or maybe more times. Stop it! It's closed fist, ref. Get him off of there. DQ, DQ. Oh. I'm gonna start a wrestling promotion where the rules are strictly enforced. Every match is a DQ and for it's the like, first few months. And then they're like, oh yeah, people gotta get their shit together. It's like, yeah, they'll they'll throw you out of the promotion for using a closed fist. Can't do that. And then it'll just devolve into a uh, like catch as catch can league. Be great. I'd be down with it. Me too. Freaking Hey, he did it better than Hogan. <laughs> so, um, what's the deal with this Twitter feud between Hogan and uh, Brutus? Brutus is releasing a book, okay, a biography, and he's saying that he's going to tell all about Hogan. And Hogan's and like Hogan's gonna lawyer is like sending him letters saying ass. you better not, basically. And Beefcake's just kind of putting it out there for all all the uh, Twitterverse to see. <laughs> Shitting my pants as we speak. Speaking oh of it, a, it, it sorry, appears like, that Hogan and Bischoff are. Hinting at something happening. Soon. Oh, some some people are standing up. What's oh, so they're, they're gonna, oh, they're gonna the ruin another promotion, Zach? I'm assuming yes. I heard Hogan was uh, maybe coming back to the Fed. Well, bit here I am saying like a, in some in some capacity anyway. Yeah. Well, Bischoff I guess posted a few tweets and it always gives you location on there, like the area you're tweeting from, and he was in Tampa like all week, huh. tweeting about. Things are about to happen. And He's going to buy TNA or probably. Global Force or probably. fucking TNGFW, total nonstop Force Global anthem. Hogan faces wrestling. Hogan versus Tanahashi at Wrestle Kingdom. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, it seems like uh, him and uh, the barber are having a little bit of a Twitter feud, yeah. and it's entertaining. It is. Oh God! So, uh, anything else we want to talk about, non wrestling related? Because right. I mean, not not related to this rest hold. You want yeah. some caramel chocolate popcorn? Yeah, I'm good. That's gonna make too much noise. Too late. I'm making. It. Well, if you're eating some, I might as well noise up the podcast. Ooh, ah, that's, that's oh weird. God damn it! I'll eat it. Where'd it go? I don't know. It's go- how does something fall on the floor and just it disappear? I know, just gone forever. What the fuck? Where did it go? What the fuck? <laughs> it is gone. No, you're gonna find a melted ass thing in your carpet a month from now. Well, there it is. How did it get clear over there? I don't know. It top dimension somehow. These are really melty. Yeah, because it's a little good, but I'm not gonna eat it anymore. Okay. Oh my god, he just took his head off. I love it. That away, Booker T. You're the most talented person in this match. Act like it. That's good shit. Mm-hmm. Let me put it in the fridge. It was. This room's really hot. I like your new setup. Menards. <laughs> guys, there's a limo. Guys, guys, there's a limo. Scott Hall's not wearing pants, guys. <laughs> Like, I love how in wrestling it's socially acceptable to get out of a limousine in your underpants with a t-shirt tucked tucked into (laughs) said underpants. Uh, Yeah. No, that's Sting, Tony. Yeah, he clearly is. He's got the jacket and the paint. Yeah. I like a Fiddler on the Roof 
uh, giant there. <laughs> <laughs> but if I were a rich man, got, got the vest and everything. That is the extent of my knowledge on Jewish culture, and we're just going <laughs> to stop it right there. Uh, it's like I watched half of. <laughs> that reminds me of when Homer's trying to get money for something. He's going yes. to all the churches. He's like, I know I haven't been the best Jew, but I rented Fiddler on the Roof, and I plan to watch it. Uh, I dated a Jewish girl for a while. Uh, you're... Are they different than other girls? I mean, uh, I mean, this one ate bacon, so... <laughs> so, she wasn't practicing, is what you're saying. Yeah, uh, I, I remember one conversation. Um, she's like, yeah, yeah, I eat bacon, and I... I don't, you know, really participate in anything religious. So like, that, that makes you the best Jew ever. It's like, yeah, actually, that makes me the worst Jew ever. <laughs> you can say or anything. To all, to, all our, to all our Jewish friends, thanks for tuning in. And if you have uh, anything you'd like to educate us on about your culture, uh, send your hate tweets to at NitroPartyJobber.com. Dot com. Dot com. com. <laughs> yeah, nope, we're just, we're just getting our own fucking website. I don't even know that much about our culture. To be fair, no, I'm just, just, just whitey. That's that's our I, culture. I know very little about being white. Oh, oh, god, he landed right on Rocco Rock's arm on accident. <clears throat> it's breaking down. This has been a little longer than I expected it to be. Well, you look at the length of the rest of the matches, and it's like crap. They're gonna have to fill time. I, I bet you this doesn't happen. Uh, probably not. <laughs> at the end, we'll see. I have a feeling that might have been supposed to be the finish, and they botched the fuck out of it. Highly likely. Yeah, that was the shittiest cover ever. Small package. This is it. Yeah, that was wow. supposed to... Oh, they did the they both thought they had him pinned thing. Like, it was obvious that Booker T's shoulders were down. So, uh, yeah, folks, uh, Public Enemy gets a tag title run. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Colonel Robert... What in tarnation? <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Robert Well, Parker's... I do declare them boys. And yeah, I, they have absconded away. with our titles. <laughs> he is one step away from being Yosemite Sam. Yeah. He's like he's like Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn, yeah. Oh my well, God. I, I, I say, I say. Oh, yeah, the outsiders the probably won't beat them. Did you hear that, Shivani? The outsiders are literally outside. <laughs> That's how they got their name, you know. They were outside once. Yeah, they just hang out outside of buildings. <laughs> right. Stop talking to the fucking camera. They called the outsiders because they're actually vampires. Get it? I forgot they even won the belts for even a little while. I do not remember this. Is but this it, before a pay-per-view? Are we near Halloween? Have? No, not No, we close. got ways. They probably lose them on Saturday night or something. This is probably how they get the belts on um, on the outsiders. outsiders though. It, it is, yeah. yeah to, they're build di- up, to build to- up outsiders versus Harlem Heat. Total transitional champion. <clears throat> which is, I'm okay with. They didn't need no, a... Listen. Uh, they, uh, they're they going to defend against the Nasty Boys about a hundred times between now and then. Ugh. Jesus. That guy made his own NWO shirt. Yeah, he did. He's not, yeah. fall- he's not fallen for <laughs> their merchandising form. scheme. Arn Anderson's younger brother. <laughs> <laughs> I did look. <laughs> Ice-T for some reason. I wonder what building this was in, because it just says Birmingham, Alabama, USA. It doesn't give a... Uh, <laughs> it is all of Birmingham. That, this is Birmingham we're looking at. I'm, it's probably at, like, UAB's basketball arena or something. Hour two. Oh, they've got the weird entranceway that doesn't hit the ring in the middle. It's oh, yeah, sides. it's oh, kind yeah. of askew. Yeah. Oh, it drives me nuts. Probably just depends on the building they're in. Yeah, because look at the risers off to the other side. Uh huh. Who we Becomes got? a random match. Hey, it's Grant's favorite wrestler. <laughs> is, you don't have it, cousin Patty. He's pissed. Maybe he'll wrestle Ice Train. 
<laughs> Grant's head would explode. <laughs> so God, he is just face. oddly shaped. In his face, he looks like he had bad plastic surgery. <laughs> like, I just... It's like a constant... Fr- he can't... He has no... He does not they have the ability to smile. They should have given him a Cupid gimmick. He should wear a fucking diaper. <laughs> a and have gimmick. a bow and arrow. <laughs> a Cupid gimmick. Uh, he does kind of have a fat baby type of <laughs> look to <a> cherub. <laughs> yes, exactly. So this match would have been huge about, oh, yeah. nine years ago. A decade before this. Randy Savage gets more pyro than the opening to the show or the opening to the second hour. As it should be. Fucking so in, Randy no, Savage. In 86, this would have been like one of the top WWF guys versus one of the top NWA guys. Well, they, right well, they feuded over the friggin' Intercontinental title back in the mid-80s or something yeah. like that. I mean... For no reason other than contractual obligation. Yep, yep. Slim Jim's Halloween Havoc. Oh, I'm going to shake my hair at you violently. I'm just imagining all the gross (laughs) Slim Jim-derived food that they they could serve at that event. Ugh. It's like a Slim Jim battered and fried. (laughs) Let me aggressively take my robe off at you. (laughs) Slim Jim nachos. This is where they got to get after it because they're like, you got three minutes, guys. Soda that has a a hollowed out Slim Jim instead of a straw. (laughs) That'd be a good idea for like a Bloody Mary. It's a a hollowed Slim Jim. That's actually a fantastic idea. Um, Yeah. How do we hollow out a Slim Jim? Hollow out a Slim Jim for your Bloody Mary. Drill bit? Drill bit. You don't think it just like starts twisting? (laughs) Plasma cutter. (laughs) A laser. I can do it. Oh, fuck, I can do it. Do it. I can make it happen. Do a YouTube tutorial on putting holes, making Slim Jim straws. So I'm sure you've seen the the picture that was out there of uh, Greg Valentine and Brutus Beefcake, like, sitting there smoking pot with I their shirts that, off. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's, uh... Haven't aged well. Oh, it's recent? Yeah, like, it was a couple months ago. Huh. Don't type in Beefcake Valentine into fucking Google. You will not like the results. Oh, oh this is going to not be okay. No. Nothing even. Wait, well, yeah. It, beefcake Valentine. <laughs> like that. That You are not going to like what you see. Oh, How is that man. not the name of a gay porn star? Beefcake pro- Valentine. It probably is. He had a pro wrestler gimmick. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Damn, Savage is bumping his ass off for Valentine here. Oh, shit. Being rough with one another. No, no, he hurt himself. He hurt himself in that dark hello. match. He got a, he got a boo boo. It was a picture on Twitter, so it may not be on uh, any of yeah, this. Yeah, I'm not finding it. No, no. Ambulances are circling the building. Can't they just park in the parking lot? Why do they have to like come in droves and circle the building? They just nope. They gotta they come. gotta keep driving. You know, yes. Greg Valentine should have feuded with Kevin Sullivan in a uh, in a uh, ironic bodybuilding uh, gimmick, <laughs> like the pose down with Rick Rude and the Ultimate Warrior at whatever SummerSlam or WrestleMania that was. Just do that yes. in an ironic fashion. This has been the longest two minutes oh, 58 okay. seconds ever. Yeah, we're going to have a DQ, I bet. Jesus. At least he got his hands up. Valentine so wins. So Valentine gets a win over Randy Savage by Mark DQ. Curtis is about to take a bump. Uh-oh. See, the NWO so is just... Why are no, they... no, the NWO is pro Mark Curtis and oh. pro Greg Valentine. Valentine's like, peace, you guys got it. <laughs> See, they're just they're just putting them for the working man. They don't want him to abuse Mark Kerr. Oh, people are throwing shit. 
Yeah, they're just misunderstood. Damn. Li- let's listen to how hot the crowd is for this. Going they're insane. going ape shit. So. Oh, shucks. Oh, no. Oh, Randy. Oh. Oh, gee, golly. Oh. Miss Elizabeth should have been portrayed by Peg Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Look how good a shape Scott Hall is in here. Oh, I know. Yeah, it's amazing. You got some air on that one. Yeah. I, the giant just finally made it good of from running through. Well, running yeah, yeah, this is the time. Like, remember when the giant starts smoking on the, right, on <laughs> yeah. the way to the ring? Yeah. Just wildly out of shape. Yes. That was his gimmick, is that he was in bad physical condition. Oh, he's got a microphone. Damn, you still got an hour left. Don't do this at the end of the show so when other people have to wrestle, they don't have to take bumps on crushed up beer cans. <laughs> Oh, shit. I wonder if all these matches happen like well, yeah, while they... they're in the ring. Because it's these guys. Yeah, actually, now that you mention that, that makes sense. Mm. This could be interesting. They're going to do like a gauntlet type thing? Maybe. Oh, he's introducing uh, Hogan. I was going to say, as wrestling turns out, that would have been the last match. The rest of it will be talking. People are throwing shit, and there's an hour left in the show. Oh, they're doing a stretcher job on Savage. He must have needed time off to rest up for his match at uh, Halloween a Havoc. Till his big one. That's Slim Jim Halloween Havoc. Yes, yeah, you're sorry, right. Slim, Jim. Slim, you Jim. Slim Jim. Feel that? We just got sued. Slim, <laughs> Slim Jim, give us money, and we'll say your name arbitrarily before pay per views that didn't happen. I am so disappointed that I mean it's not happening yet. Is it Voodoo Child? Is it actually they they don't do it on the I know network? They never do they it don't on the network. They don't but... want. Well, yeah, I don't know when he starts doing that. Yeah, we need to look that up. One of the best. I can't because ever, my, my keyboard's opinion. too loud. <laughs> yeah, he just came out to no music. So who's the next guy to join that's a wrestler? Um, is, it, is it someone internally or is it another guy? Well, I don't know. I This is I'm this thinking. is all kind of a rehash. When's Sabbath's joined? Well, not for... It's not for maybe... It's not for a while. I think the Giant will leave before anyone else joins. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, here, let me look it up. Uh, oh, Vincent. Oh, yeah, duh. That makes sense. I knew that. Looking forward to that. Get some fuck money. See, I bet the giant has his match in his suit there. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yep, that would make sense, just looking at the match rundown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so the NWO is going to beat everybody up for the next 45 minutes. and uh, yeah, 45 minutes, do you mean the next uh, we'll, three years? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> we won't get the Disciple until February of 98. Wow. Man, that's a long time. For, what's he, Oh, he's hitting with an actual Slim Jim. So the Thunder you went to was like, was he there yet? Were you, well, that was February, wasn't it? February uh, 98? Yeah, I mean, I didn't see him because the main event was... Uh, Super Callow uh, versus Steiner brothers or Rick Steiner. It was like Rick Stri- St- yeah, Rick Steiner against Ray Trailer or something. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, promos and squash matches from here on out. And then the company gets worse. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
God, it really... If they would have just stayed right here, like, this is it. No, this I is don't the even NWO. think... Just even get the giant out of there. Yeah, it, the giant you, doesn't belong there. You had to be an ex-WWF right. guy. Everybody else makes sense, except exactly. the giant. It would have been much better. Had the giant not been in the ring right now, it would have been amazing. Oh, it was gonna... Kurt Henning. It was Kurt Henning with Rude versus Steiner and DiBiase. Okay, yeah. Oh, they're spraying uh, his bald spot. How, that was a good show. I'm looking at the ironic. results of the show, and it was good. What was the uh, opener? See, the giant just can't quit eating. This is this is the start <laughs> of his downfall. So, uh, Waltman has a savage toy. Yeah, in his in his, in his, in his uh, crotch there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Powerbomb him through the desk. Maybe Bischoff's the next one after it was, Vincent. The opener was Well, Jericho it probably versus... is, yeah. Uh, not yet. We'll get a couple guys before him. Uh, but he's not a wrestler, so he doesn't count. Opener was Jericho versus Super Calo, and that's when I remember Jericho giving his Terry Hutt uh, oh, yeah. promo. Wasn't he in the feud with uh, Lenny Lane? Uh, this is around <laughs> that, right before that time. Uh, Zach, what's your favorite Lenny Lane match? The one with Jericho. <laughs> Jericho, where he owes him a thousand dollars. You uh, owe me a thousand dollars. He's been chewing on that Slim Jim for like a minute. <laughs> so you got any more of those? <laughs> Oh, fuck, we might get him tonight. Wow. Oh, they think it's going to be Vince McMahon. <laughs> he's eating some Olive Garden somewhere. I will say this, him. Bischoff is selling the fact that he's like there wants to he cry. Is. Hey, yeah. get some meat sauce. <laughs> fuck money, uh, fuck money. fucking Christ. Yeah, I like how Bischoff does sit like he looks like he's about to cry. <laughs> At this point, everyone should have been like, Yeah, we could beat these guys if this is the best thing. <laughs> this is the best they got. Get some fuck money and some meat sauce and some Olive Jesus Garden breadsticks. Fucking Christ. Hell yeah, he's getting tagged on Twitter for this. Dude, Jesus, he's, was... getting, he's getting freaking rough with Bischoff. I watched a match of him not very long ago. It's it's him, Clay. You'll love this. It's him versus Stevie Ray. Oh God! <laughs> I they saw both cut promos that are awful. I saw a uh, clip from a match on WCW Worldwide that was Vincent versus Craig Pittman, and Vincent uh-huh. almost kills him. <laughs> like <laughs> they tried to do this like suplex to the outside spot, and it gets botched, and Pittman gets dropped right on his fucking head on the floor. Oh, shit. They're manhandling Bischoff. They are getting rough with Bischoff. Like, Vincent's just slapping the crap out of him. I gotta take a leak. Zach has to take a leak. You can, like, buy these at frickin' Spencer's Gifts now. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, Hot Topic or... they're, They're still a good selling shirt. Like, nowadays you wear that, people think you're in the Illuminati. Right. I bet Heenan's stoked. He doesn't have to work tonight. He only had to call, like, one match. Yeah, no shit. (laughs) They can take over the NBA. It would have been great. (laughs) I I can watch this all day. Vincent just slapping the piss out of Eric Bischoff. Yeah. Like, who would be their driver? I mean, it'd probably be Waltman, because he weighs the least. I can see Dick Trickle joining. The Dick NWO. Trickle joined the NWO. Well, they do actually have a friggin' NASCAR. That's bitching. You know how fucking loud that must be in that arena? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's gotta be deafening. Oh, Those shit. are loud outside. Yeah, they're in a, like... A, they're loud from the nosebleeds of the... They're uh, like in a 10,000 person arena. I like the exhaust coming out the back side window. People are throwing shit at it. (laughs) 
Dude, I like this. Yeah. Oh, they got a driver. Dale Earnhardt. Remember when they brought out the WCW uh, driver there yep. like a year yes. ago? Mm -hmm. They should have had a feud. <laughs> oh, oh Kyle, yeah, that's right. Kyle Petty's in the NWO. Now they're Bob. Slap Who him it, again, Vincent. He's stuttering. <laughs> Who would it be if it was today? You know who... I know nothing about NASCAR. You know who so. Vincent looks like? Who? He looks like uh, the guy from the Stanley Kubrick version of The Shining. The black guy. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He looks just like him. Is he announcing his opponent? Uh, maybe. He sure is. <laughs> I'm liking the second half here. I like that's that's why he's wearing the suit. I like Fargo Strut Giant um, wrestling jobbers and like dress wear. <laughs> I like how the uh, these powers is just coming out like nothing's wrong. Like, like yeah, it's my match. Yep, right. This is my match. <laughs> this is what I signed up for. <laughs> Teddy Long is uh, he's on a bit of a losing streak. I had a professor in college that looked like Teddy Long. Huh. Hmm. Sure, it wasn't Teddy Long? Fuck, it might have been. <laughs> People are just chucking shit in the ring. Did the giant run to the back? So, oh, the yeah. never mind. There no, no, he's wrestling he's, Wall he's... Street. What the heck? Oh. Well, Cage Match was wrong. Cage Match says the giant wrestles Jim Powers. Maybe he pushes Rotunda out of the way. That could be. Doesn't he join the NWO sometimes? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure he does. He which that makes sense he too. He I mean, does? Yeah, I'm almost positive. Yeah. I don't remember that no, at all. No, he does. I think it happens. Absolutely it might. Does. It probably happens right friggin' here. And that's what I was going to say. He might join now. It's taking a shirt off. It's going to be a NWO shirt. No, he has no shirt. It's shaved into his chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he he joins. That makes sense. I mean, uh, fuck money. <laughs> God, those tights are awful. What music is playing? I have no idea what's happening. Oh, they're just, they're just, uh, oh, they're just going to beat him down outside. Poor Timothy. That would suck, because you got to wrestle in, like, rum and Cokes and friggin' popcorn the rest of the night. <sighs> That's got to be yeah. sticky. Yep, Wall Street's just <laughs> leaving. <laughs> Grant, you still there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah, it was a big pop a little... like you were gone for a second. Come on, Teddy. What are you going to do, player? <laughs> Do you Put, know cameraman? You're going to be know? in a tag match with The Undertaker. Oh, Pee Wee Anderson's going to wrestle him. He's taking his tie off. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. Oh, the Giant's going to step in and take the match. I like that. I like that Randy Anderson's disgusted and appalled. I love Nick Patrick. And his dad's not very proud of that earring. I he love is. earring Nick Patrick. It's because he's making all this money because he's in the, right. you know, he's got Everyone money knows the jewelry. first thing you buy with money is an earring. It's a shitty, like, Dollar Tree <laughs> earring. Or something. Slip on. I love this. This is entertaining. <laughs> I'll give it that. I mean, it's not wrestling, but it's entertaining. They're giving the Giants some personality. Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. He oh, God, up. he doesn't know what his finish is. Uh. Oh, Jimmy Powers, you screwed up your one and only spot, and you dicked it up. Because you didn't know that this guy yep. does a choke slam for his finish, and you took it like a bump. Great. 
I love somebody just opens the door and sprays him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> And we're still doing the will they, won't they, nasty boys angle. As if anyone cares. I mean, I don't. Don't do it. <laughs> Give some power to sign contracts. You know, I'm surprised there were enough incarnations of it. I'm sure Give I'm it. surprised there wasn't an NWO nasty world order. <laughs> 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 Damn, I really think they missed the boat on that. Yeah. To feud with the black and white and the red and black and the LWO and fucking silver and black. Yeah. And like NWO 2000 was a thing for like two weeks. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's because Bret Hart and got And then Bret him. Hart got concussed. Hey, Brian Nobbs is the world champ. He's got the belt. The fucking black and orange HWO Halloween World Order. <laughs> With Cyclope. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the Giants. The Giants, like, emceeing the <laughs> rest of the night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> just getting, just getting manhandled. That's a great uh, game. Uh, this is awesome. Oh fuck! Come on, Duggan, defend WCW's <laughs> honor. Fuck, Duggan should have joined. I mean, yeah, that would make sense. That more makes than the sense. I mean, it make more sense than him joining like Team Canada. <laughs> How much heat would he have turning his back on America? Oh yeah, he'd be a huge right heel. Now? Yeah, that'd be awesome. You go back to Mid South, Duggan. Yeah, yeah, just that'd be great. Mid South, punch you in the face as hard as he can for real, Jim yeah. Duggan. Oh, uh, that would have been a great turn. <laughs> Who else is on the roster at this point that could have been in the NWO? Well, that would have made sense. You got Duggan. You got IRS. Man, I don't know. Savage, obviously. I mean, the roster is so damn huge. Yeah. I'm sure you can find somebody. Hell, Heenan. But he was always you need a big someone that you, Hogan. You need someone that enemy. people give a fuck about, though. Yeah. Which du- I you which you get with Duggan. Duggan would have been interesting. Yeah. That yeah. that would have yeah. been a good one. I guess technically you could have had earthquake and oh yeah. Uh, hey, it's Big Ron Stud. Yete. I God, th- damn I th- it. no I think. The uh, it's the Yete. I think the gimmick here is is that the NWO is replacing jobbers with other with their people. He's just no selling for Hogan, mm-hmm. so he's gonna. So like their jobber will come out, the NWO is gonna beat him up and then replace him with somebody. That, oh, that was bad. Horrible. Hogan is horrible. That was a Hogan chair. I mean, I get it. He's not trying to hurt the guy, but still. See, I mean, Kevin Nash is laying him in there. Mm -hmm. Because Nash doesn't care if he hurts the guy. (laughs) Yeah, he doesn't. Nash doesn't like him because he's bigger than him. Yep. He's a threat. Rewind what I said. That monkey fucking a football gimmick ain't gonna get it done. (laughs) Kill yourself. (laughs) <laughs> so this is our uh, first look at uh, Sean Waltman, Waltman six yeah. one two three kid in a match. Jim Duggan would rip his arms off in real life. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I really wouldn't want to fuck with Just like waffle him with the two. Yes, Jesus, <laughs> get him. I like. It. I like it. <laughs> D- I mean, Duggan, he's a lot of things, but, I mean, he's hes an entertaining guy. Yeah, oh yeah. 
Yeah, like 1988 Hacksaw, it would you would not want to fuck with that guy. I'm yeah. sure he's still a badass Jesus. if you mess with him. Friggin'. Oh, he goes. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ha- Hacksaw taking a bump. No selling it, too. He's just no selling the shit out of him. <laughs> oh. I like it. Hogan on commentary. Oh, the bandana's off. He's manhandling him. On oh, the bandana! Waltman, the bandana. <laughs> Waltman, Waltman's just got to bump like a boss for him. The fuck's he going to do with him here? He's he gonna, doesn't know. He's going <laughs> to clubber him. I was waiting for like a DDT. Yeah, he's not coordinated enough for that. No. Repeated clubber. <laughs> I was like, a DDT doesn't involve clubbing, so he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in our in our quest to look like Arn Anderson by the time we're in our forties, I gotta say, I I I think I'm in the lead. I look like Jim Duggan right now. You have any chest hair yet? <laughs> yeah, you need to get some chest hair. You might need some little, implants for the chest. Chest hair, that chest is, hair. not boobs. Hair plugs. There you go. That's, that's what I meant to say. You also are lacking knee pads. <laughs> I can buy knee pads. I can do that. Can you buy star-spangled knee pads? I'll get them tattooed on. Oh, Fuck three-point it. stance. Oh, it's over. It's his finish. Pin him. So I haven't been listening to Hogan commentate. All I do is see the three point stance. Oh, choke slam on the floor! Say, the oh, most powerful force good. in wrestling. Yeah. Good job protecting him there, show. Good job. You protected the shit out of him. That's it. There we go. I'm right. interested. I'm interested in the next match. Yeah, because who's the guy? He's uh... click on him. See if see if this guy wrestled anywhere before. Hey Zach. Jesus. We got. <laughs> what is it? Brownies. We have some brownies. Thank you, Maria. That's like the first appearance my wife's ever made. Can you guys yes. email me one of those? <laughs> I wish, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so good. It's like Everyone is so good. It's like s'more <laughs> brownies. This is the only WCW match ever. Okay. The guy well, that- we're going to see how he does. <laughs> I'm guessing not well. This is his first match ever. And only match ever. Like, did they pluck this guy out of the crowd? No, he did a lot of independent NWA stuff after this. So, spoiler, the guy wrestling here in a couple minutes is named Bo LaDuke. Scott Reigns. I wonder if he has a Dukes of Hazard gimmick. If uh, if by NWA independent shit after this, you mean, I, I mean, by that you must mean just getting stretched by Dan Severn. Hopefully. Because I think that's all that happened in the NWA from this point out. I mean, if wrestling was real, which it is, <laughs> right? Uh, Dan, Dan Severn would be like, would have held the heavyweight championship of the world for like 15 straight years. Yeah. Until Brock Lesnar beat him. Yeah. A- Angle might have been able to get him. Yeah, Angle. Guys like that. This guy yeah. is a future NWA Georgia Tag Team Champion. Oh, good. Held it for 91 days. And he's Fuck. facing NWO Sting. Spoiler alert. I love how he still rocks the, uh, like, and he comes out like he's still a baby face and shit. Like he's baby yeah. face mm-hmm. Sting. And he's, <laughs> and he's got the 
this old Sting music and everything. It's great. Mm-mm-mm. So this gentleman in the ring with uh, with him is Bo LeDuc. Yeah, it is. Who are you to doubt that? A month ago, you could have sw- you would have friggin' bet everything you owned that it was Sting. Bischoff. Oh, that was freaking amazing. Yeah, pretty good. Kind of like a s'more brownie cake. <laughs> Pie. Pie. <laughs> <laughs> Donut crunch. It, it literally was a brownie with like fudge type stuff. And marshmallow. Covered in marshmallow and like caramel or something on the top there. Yeah. I wonder, I'm assuming that Sting gave uh, Cobra here all his ring gear. Like, because he's like, hey, I'm, I'm going black and white. Here's some of my old yeah, shit maybe. for you to wear. Yeah. Bola Duke getting, getting some offense. Getting some offense in. I like it. Sting's feeding him. Fuck. Bola Duke looks better than some people we've seen tonight. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. he's competent. He's probably a power plant guy or he's something. He's honestly doing better than like Mongo at this point. Yeah. He's not like he's, falling he's at over least himself. As good as Stevie Ray. <laughs> he does this. He does that. Well, the dude could have been the third nasty boy. <laughs> he could have just do like a free bird nasty boy thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a Bullet Duke fan. Yeah, so am I. I hope we see more of him. We won't. He won't. We don't. <laughs> Not at all, actually, Uh-oh. ever. <laughs> Scorpion Deathlock. I'll say this. Like, he does... A good job with everything except the Stinger Splash. He doesn't make that yeah. look very good. But I mean, I, he does nobody's okay. Nobody's going to look that good with it. As good as the real Sting. Right. Steve Borden's got a fucking vertical. I wouldn't be surprised if Sting right now at his age could like still dunk a basketball. Okay. No, I wouldn't be surprised. There's a guy who can jump out of his shoes. No, we have to slap you around some more. <laughs> Virgil's loving it. Talking to the microphone, Waltman. Talking to the microphone. Microphone closer to your face. Grant, do you still have one of those bandanas? I've got a Hollywood Hogan bandana. Yeah, I've got yeah. my Hollywood one still, too. Wearing it right now. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> See, the guy with the largest arms in the world actually has elephantitis, so yeah. that's not entirely accurate. At this point, who's that fucking bodybuilder with the giant arms? Like Magnus Ver Magnuson or some shit? No, he was like he a was strong, strong man. man. Uh, what the fuck's that guy's name? Um, Ronnie Coleman. Oh, yeah. Like, one Mr. Olympia back in the 90s a couple times. Yeah, at yeah, this he's... point, it's probably Ronnie Coleman in time. I bold it. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> well, they, oh, that, they, got too, they got too much voltage. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Why is he sweating around his no, pelvis they, so they much? Sp- they spilled water on I the crotch. I understand, I know. God, why does he's everybody... Cross-eyed. Stop. Why does everybody have to talk into the damn camera? Your jobbers, act like it. Walk to the ring, get destroyed, and leave. She looks like they both peed their pants. So according to DiBiase, this is a uh, match for the uh, in the NWO uh, tag team tournament. Hey, he's still got his Mountie glasses. <sighs> In hell. So this is your main event. The amazing French Canadians against high voltage. 
You guys spent a lot of time on that sign. So you saw Sting repel from the ceiling, Grant. I'm looking at your message you sent here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of big. Yeah. Especially on a thunder. It didn't happen that often. That was early thunder. Thunder was amazing for like a month. Yeah, was they badass. When they did make it good at the start just to get people watching. Back when it was still like that whole like rock set. Like the boulders yeah, it's like everywhere. A, it's like a yeah. cave type mm-hmm. thing. Basically, they repurposed the set from the Dungeon of Doom vignettes. Basically, That's probably yeah. what that is, actually. Yeah. And they made an entrance way out of it. The Mountie could have joined the NWO. That would have made sense. Yeah, yeah. I guess. In a <laughs> Better way. than the Giant. In a way. It just it annoys me mostly that the Giant joined because see, he's the natural foil for Kevin Nash. Right. Mm-hmm. See, okay, this I have a problem with. NWO is this big heel faction, but they're going to get babyface cheers because they're going to come out here and beat up the guys singing the Canadian, Canadian National, National Anthem, Anthem in yeah. Birmingham, Alabama. Mm-hmm. So they're going to get a babyface pop for beating these guys up. I wonder if Conrad Thompson's in the crowd here. Probably was. I guarantee he was. He was like... 16 years old. So they just sang the national anthem and now they're like, no, we're going to leave. That's exactly what's happening. This is their first match on TV. Yeah, it is. Said, see ya. All right, here we go. Main event. Main event. (laughs) High voltage making a main event on Nitro. At the beginning of the show, we're like, this cannot be. A good show looking at the card. It's a, yeah, but it's been very it's, it's entertaining. It's been one of the better ones yeah. from, you know, like the in, yeah. the in ring, it's been all squashes, but like it's further to it's been story. An entertaining show. Right. Yeah. I forgot they did this. That's that's yeah. good. Uh, the, uh. Yeah, yeah. The paper, rock, scissors gimmick. I like that. Whoops! That? Whoops! <laughs> I'm just like I forget what I'm gonna do. I better fall down. <laughs> I mean, these guys are so green right now; like they just don't. And Scott Hall, at this point, in wrestling is one of the best workers. Yeah, I mean, he's Robbie Rage and whatever the hell the he, other guy's name chaos. is. Show some fucking respect. <laughs> Didn't he have a tag title run with, like, Rick Steiner for a while, like, towards uh, the end? I, I, I think so. High Vulture's first match was in April of this year. Yeah, so they have been, they are very green. They great. probably got a dozen matches under the yeah, belt. Great working punches from Scott Hall. Come on, uh... We got uh, Eddie Electricity and uh, <laughs> Megan, Robbie, uh, was it Robbie, Robbie Rage and Kenny Chaos? Kenny okay. Chaos. They're high voltage. Okay, got it. Their last match was in uh, exactly two years from this point. Yep, they wrestled the Dancing Fools at a house show. Their last televised appearance was against Public Enemy at the WCW MTV Ultimate Video Bash. Oh my god. I, for, I forgot that MTV and WCW did partner for a while. Because like they had yeah. the Nitro Girls on like Singled yeah. Out or some yeah. shit. God, he doesn't even know how to take a knee lift. <laughs> Fuck, High Voltage could have been another. The Voltage World Order. The, v- the VWO. Just Start two guys. Numbers. Like, everyone on the entire roster is some form of NWO. 
Yeah. I mean, that's basically what happened. That's <laughs> basically what happened, yeah. But. Robbie Rage, Kenny Chaos, Johnny Jules. <laughs> Johnny Jules, Johnny Eddie Jules. Electricity. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Any other uh, electrical. Alex Amps. Larry Lightning. Yeah. Alex Amperage. <laughs> uh, I could see just Nash getting stiffer than shit with this guy because he's not Carl really. Capacitor. <laughs> You're pretty, proud. Yeah, I was You're pretty proud of that one, aren't you? Yeah, I, I, I was brewing that one for a while. Hey, it's Chester one of his capacitor. Hey, it's Chester one of his capacitor. five moves. Timmy Transistor. <laughs> yes. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, uh, God, you're idiots. I'm doing a podcast with idiots. Pulling the power supply. Char- Charlie Current. Charlie Current. Damn, that's a hell of an abdominal stretch he's got him in there. <laughs> I've never seen that. This is what you do to your little brother. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm bigger than you, there's nothing you can do. You know, that's a that's a say uncle move. He's uncle him right, uncle him right there, baby. <laughs> Oh, yeah, get in there with a bunch of piss and vinegar and get kicked in the dick. Yep. Remember remember when Robbie Rage took the Steiner screwdriver and we thought he died? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was bad. Ricky Resistor. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. Kyle Kilowatt. There you go. So, uh... I mean, the the second half of this entire show has been nothing but squashes, but like we said, it's been entertaining. Um, we Oscar, are Oscar Holmes. I was about to say something. Uh, Holmes. I was going to say Omar Holmes. <laughs> Omar. I like Omar better. Omar Holmes. Holy Holmes. Oh, that's good. Omar Holmes. I like that. So, uh, Omar Epson. We're about a month out from Halloween Havoc. Is that right? Slim Jims. Sorry. Slim Jims Halloween it, Havoc. It about have to be a month because it's the end of September here. Yeah. So. We'll have one more September show. Uh, we get a big debut at Halloween Havoc coming up. Do we? Yep. Not going to tell you who it Not is. Not going to tell you. Unless you can figure it out on your set by, by yourself. looking it up. By looking right it up on the internet. Oh, and, he, and he's and he got him in the ammeter, Mike Tanay. There's no kicking out of that. <laughs> yeah. I love how you've just created your own e-fed stable in your mind. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> How fucking hard is booking? Jesus. It's yeah. when, whenever they do like their tag team move off the top turnbuckle, it's like the multimeter. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> uh, I love how he's just like tapping him with his foot. Folks, if you'd like to join our uh, science and technology based wrestling federation, <laughs> just send us a tweet. There, there's like an electricity stable, a uh, like everything a, has to have an educational meaning, like a geology stable. Oh, and they fight in the simple machines on pole match. Yeah, uh. sure. Like you get somebody <laughs> in the fulcrum. That's just a submission hold, <laughs> yeah. but it's called the fulcrum. Pulley and fulcrum. That should be a tag team. Yeah. This has gone off the tracks a little. <laughs> this is, well, goddamn, we're watching a... It's already like an eight-minute squash match. This match should have been it's over true. already. It's true. Uh, good lord. Like, they just basically, like, hey, the Outsiders wanted to get in there just to get some ring rust knocked off because they haven't wrestled in forever. Right. You can win by escaping the cage or solving this mathematical <laughs> equation. <laughs> Sully the soldering iron. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jerry Tharp's the commissioner. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody knows who that is, but yeah, Jerry Tharp, if you're listening, I'm not sure why, but thank you. <laughs> Jerry, you're a badass. <laughs> of all people, he'd probably be the one that wouldn't surprise me if he's listening. <laughs> if him and Mr. Dieters are listening right now, oh, I would not be surprised. God. Got him! It got him in the head vice move, twisty thing. <laughs> God, this is the this might be the longest recorded squash match in history because <laughs> they're just toying with them. Like they have not got one offensive move in. They're like, go out there and take some bumps, fellas. Earn your stripes. Maybe we could have like a a, a space faction, and if Perry Saturn lives. He could he could be the, the leader. Yeah, yeah. Perry. 
Mo is their leader. Um, <laughs> par- oh, ow, that was on the shoulder. Ouch. He like he's legit hurt. <laughs> he didn't feel that didn't feel good. Um, damn it, I had a thought and then very uh, sad or not doing he, well. Yeah, he's not doing too good. Yeah, he's like homeless. Hopefully, he's uh, <laughs> just what was <laughs> they're just he's here. Let me help you. <laughs> oh, going up, jackknife, power bomb. Oh. That's going to be legal here in a little while. Yep. You're going to be able to do it. And surprisingly. What the went. fuck? You, the illegal. God damn it. You can't both pin them. That's not legal. Yeah. You know, it's I. this is the problem that we've kind of discovered not very long ago with these guys. They're, they're booked like fucking faces. Yeah, I mean, well, they're and like they cool. Didn't, they didn't even try well, to make them heels, really. Yeah, they're they, cool and hip. They, they didn't fucking cheat to win that match. Why is the heel going over clean? Yeah. Which, I... Yeah, that's that's a separated shoulder. Yikes. That hurts. He, roll, he rolled through instead of just completely compressing on it, so... You know, they kind of... They didn't exactly take care of high voltage there. No, they no, just no. kind of beat the shit out of them. Because what are they going to do? I'm sure high voltage is being compensated ad- adequately. Yeah. Ugh. All right. That's basically the show. Let's see what happens in the next three and minutes. Bischoff will probably get slapped around and get yeah. some meat sauce poured on him. <laughs> like, see, that's... I thought he was going to drop an F-bomb there for a second. <laughs> Good job for pointing that out, Hogan. Um, If you had an invading um, entity, would you put him on the cover of your frigging magazine? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So what did Hogan say there? I didn't catch it. I don't know. I was talking. Oh. No, I meant about the magazine. They said the, good WCW point. is trying to exploit the popularity um, gotcha. of the NWO. So it's like, ah, eh, that's good. Yeah. Greg Valentine picked up a win. That's what happened. Valentine slowly he like, bald spot. he like slowly exits the ring. Yeah. I mean this is your main angle of the show is that they're gonna yeah. they're gonna stretch her job savage because yeah. he's gotta wrestle Hogan coming up in a month. Clay, here's how big of a fucking nerd I am. Uh, when you when you said the you know, the invading entity thing on the cover of your magazine uh, the best way I could relate that to someone, which isn't a good way, is to say, at no point in 1914 was Otto von Bismarck on the cover of Frenchman Weekly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, same thing. Uh, <laughs> potato, potato. God, like, get a hold of your fans. Don't let them throw shit in the damn ring. For God's sakes. People are throwing streamers like it's New Japan. <laughs> yeah. So we've got uh, seven members of the NWO now. We're up to seven. <clears throat> on our right. way to 27. Right. The- hey, yeah. I remember that, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't Thunder in Paradise, like, getting ready to come out, like, soon? What? Isn't Thunder in Paradise getting ready to come out soon? That was already out, I think. That was gone, oh, yeah. That, that was in 94. Gone. What am I thinking of? He was filming Thunder uh, Paradise Assault when on he Devil's came to the Island. company. Maybe that may be Assault on Devil's Island. Yes, you're correct. That had Carl Weathers in it, right? Assault on Devil's Island? I think so. Sure. I, okay. I, that's <laughs> I, think probably. I think that's what I was thinking of. It's probably Hogan's best movie, like quality-wise. I thought Mr. Nanny was. It's uh, it's basically a kind of a rip-off of the best parts of Commando. <laughs> Which, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The, no, no, no. Not at and, all. And for the record, the best part of Commando is when he kills those guys with the uh, with the mower blades. <laughs> yeah, Vin- <laughs> Vincent is just freaking. <laughs> He's loving it. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, you geez, tell Bischoff uh, just like you're get going these, a little too far get there, these bud. fucking guys off of me. Uh, yep. So that's our show. Um, I don't know what. Uh, that's a show. Don't wear it out. I don't. I don't know. What, God damn it! 
I don't know what Grant and Zach talked for for the first, I don't know, ten minutes. It wasn't long. You were here within the first good. five. Really? Yeah, we timed that out pretty good. So uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give us a five-star rating on iTunes. We're on Twitter, at Nitro Party Java with one B. Let us know what you think. We'll be here uh, as soon as we can. We're the uh, highest rated, sometimes bi-weekly, sometimes tri-weekly podcast. <laughs> Sometimes on I- once every other month. iTunes on iTunes, and I base that on absolutely nothing. <laughs> Good night, everybody. See ya. Okay. It was good, right? Yeah, yeah I, was we'd no technical one. glitches. That that yeah, had no. Oh, shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck up! You just jinxed up. it. Well, I Let's mean, check it your internet didn't crash. Can't say no technical glitches until this shit's posted. <laughs> All right.